But your computer might have to hit F11 or F12 so it can uh, choose which boot device you want to use. You should also disconnect your main computer's uh, hard drive also just to make sure you don't screw it up. But what you're going to want to do is when you get to your div uh, boot device menu, you're going to hit USB device, which we're going to boot from. And we hooked up the uh, Western Digital to where one of the... Um, hard drives in my computer were hooked up. Um, it's not going to work if you do it with USB. You're going to have to hook it up to a main SATA cable. Alright, uh, we're going to hit F1 to continue. And then when you get here, you're going to type in hard drive hacker, just like that. Make sure that's how you spell it too, or it's not going to boot. Okay. If you get any errors here, you're going to have to go back into your BIOS and you're going to have to turn uh, ATA settings on. But now we're here. Number four is the hard drive we want to use. As you can see, you'll see the um, that number four is the one that's detecting. So what we're going to do, usually yours should say uh, Western Digital. I just flashed it just to do a quick run through. So. I'm going to pick four. What do you want to do? We want to flash firmware, so we just hit F. Enter their file name. Now, before you start, you, you know your, um, you can do a directory and you can see what your bin file is. If not, you can just name it to this when you do stick it on the um, hard drive itself. I'm booting, I'm going to boot a 250 uh, gigabyte uh, bin file for it. Enter. Enter the firmware backup name, uh, name it whatever you want, name it undo bin like it suggests. File undo bin already exists, you want to overwrite it, yes. Uh, and then it'll flash.